Suspected Flani herdsmen invade farm in Ofa after traditional ruler says he has made them indigent. Suspected Flani herdsmen have reportedly invaded a farm located behind the Ofa University at Aro in Ofa Kwara State. Sahar reporters gathered that the farm belonged to the spokesman of APC, Kwara State Chapter Alaji Tajuddin. A source said the farmers repelled the attack and in- injured some cows in a bid to overpower the suspected herdsmen. The source fu- said further that one of the farmers, Jakub Stalasi, 27, sustained injuries during the attack, noting he was rushed to a nearby hospital along Ilemona community for medical treatment, while other injured victims were later transferred to Abdul Salam Hospital in Ofar. The suspects were said to, f- said to have fled when the farmers reportedly alerted officers and men of the Ofar Civil Defense Joint Task Force in the area. The incident was confirmed by the spokesperson for the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Babawali Afalabi, on Saturday. The JTF of our division and vigilante team went to the farm where the victim was rescued and moved to a nearby hospital along Ilemona community for medical treatment, Afalabi said. Meanwhile, in efforts of in the effort of our civil defense JTF to arrest the suspects, the cars belonging to the suspected herdsmen were recovered at the farm where most of the cars were injured by the farmers. Later a flanny man in the area won Alaji Yabo Sabo Yaro. Uh, intervened and promised to assist the security operatives to smoke at the suspects, he added. The urban nation agitator, Sonde Adeyemo, popularly known as Sonde Buho, had last week issued a fresh eviction, eviction notice to kill a flanny herdsmen across Yoruba land. However, the traditional ruler of Ofax, Olofa of Ofa, um, Oba Mufutao Badamosi, said recently that the flanny herdsmen within his domain will not leave. The traditional ruler said he has made Fulani people in his domain indigents of Ofa because many of them have become accustomed to the way of life in Ofa. Olofa of Ofa in a short video clip said, In Yoruba land, we have houses and Fulanis. We need to communicate with them in every possible language they understand. Some of them do not understand Yoruba, Fulani or, or Hausa. And you say you will chase them away from Yoruba land. Where do you want them to go? The circuit flunny that you are seeing here does not understand any other language apart from Yoruba. If we now go and burn his house and ask him to leave, that it would be unfair. Since that is the case, they have become accustomed to offer and I have given them indigenous ship of offer and I have directed the police DPO to prevent anybody from harassing them as flannies. I want peace in offer. All I want is the 16 government areas to see that Ofa is peaceful, there is no conflict, and we are living together in harmony. So they will copy how we did it. We are not chasing any Fulani or Bororo away, and we are not stopping them from grazing their cattle. We will only give them guidelines, which they're going to have to follow, but then... What would you what would you do if they did not follow those guidelines? That is the real question because again, I think with the way Nigeria works or any other government works, there are guidelines, but the fact is things go wrong when they are not being followed, and that is why we're having this whole conversation in the first place. I think I don't know. I'm not really sure about making one or giving an indigent ship. I mean I guess it can be revoked as well. Um because my assumption was like if it's given to you, it can't be taken back. But again, if he gives it as the offer, um, then I guess that's fine. I, I just don't know how Yoruba people might feel about it by having their offer, you know, give indigenous ship to non indigents of the place in order to make them feel welcome or accustomed. You can make people feel accustomed to, you know, your place without actually giving them indigenous ship. Like, it's really not that deep. Like, you can't just make them part of your culture because, again, with indigenous ship, I think that. Well, personally for me, there has to be some blood-related kind of genetic makeup going on where at least you can say for the whole village, there's this significant gene or this phenotype that identifies them as one, which you know, which justifies that they're indigents of the place. I mean, that is how I think, to be honest. Um, you can't, again, if you make them indigents, does that mean that they are, they are absorbed from all the things that they could have done? 
and the atrocities they have committed. So I'm not really sure about the indigent ship. It's very confusing. I don't even think he needs to be there. But I guess it's what this offer has chosen to do. Um, let's look at the comment section below. Somebody here says they were exercising their right of grazing on farms as confirmed by the Oba case closed. The traditional ruler has a hidden agenda. The people of his community should be prepared for knockouts. Um, what hidden agenda? Please be specific. Um, hold the traditional ruler for all, or what responsible for all atrocities committed by the irresponsible fellows. Well, I don't think that is logical and that will happen. Um, I just think that in a way, the the Oba sort of dug a hole for himself by appointing indigenous ship like no one asked because now you've given them this because it's an honor for you to be declared as an indigenous of a place when you are not born there or related by blood or genetics at all so again if they do anything even if, if they do anything bad um it's like what what was the point because now you'll be held responsible not doing that you've now given criminals indigenous ship like how, how why what is the reason for that no one there was no need um, the traditional ruler has a plan to kill some of his people. That was what motivated him to welcome terrorists as indig indigenous people. He should be held responsible. I think that, I, again, I don't think it has an agenda to kill people. Okay, please. You need facts to prove that. But what I can agree with is that he should be held responsible because um, you can't you can't make well-known criminals indigenous. Like, that's an insult. I mean, first of all, the government does not even take them seriously um in terms of just like arresting them a following protocol uh and that's just what it is so again it's like if that is not happening then in this case anything can go wrong and you know being an indigenous of a place it's just not it's not good why i there are so many ways to tackle these issues there are so many ways to make someone feel welcome without really you, you can treat somebody very very nicely it does not mean they're gonna be your family member the next day it's just this is what it is um so yeah someone says um some elders are indeed foolhardy idiotic screw okay <laughs> you can be objective in things you don't have to insult the person and like their family life and everything that's associated to them um so yeah someone says while struggling a uh, while we were struggling to solve the problems created by our forefathers some are still busy creating more yeah, I agree to you that. I mean, that comment really matches in every context you could want to use it in. Um, that's it. Put what you think about this in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.